Here are my top little known new features in macOS Ventura. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and Apple has officially released macOS Ventura. And with that update, there's a bunch of big headline grabbing new features that I've already talked about. I've already done a full review where I break down stage manner, the redesign, system settings, the new features for messages, but there's so much more to love that isn't getting the headlines they deserve. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through my favorite new features in macOS Ventura that you maybe didn't know about. Starting off, a lot of people know that you can use your iPhone as a camera with macOS Ventura. You can mount it just above your computer and take a FaceTime call, a Zoom call, any video call using your iPhone's cameras. Way better than the built-in cameras on your Mac. But a lot of you might not have known that you can also use the microphone. That's right, if you go into system settings, sound, and then to input, you can choose to use your, your iPhone's microphone as the sound input on your Mac. Again, the iPhones have great microphones and it's a great way to boost your sound quality or maybe you're stepping back from your machine, you're not really close to it and you need a better microphone to use, you can do it in macOS Ventura. Here's another super helpful one. A lot of you out there like me probably love Quick Look. Quick Look is basically you tap on spacebar and a file previews. It could be an audio file, a video file, a photo, but it allows you to quickly look at it without having to open the entire file. Super handy. But now with macOS Ventura, you can also do it inside of Spotlight. So open up a Spotlight search, look for a file. You can go down the list with the arrow keys and then tap on spacebar to preview each one. Find the one you're looking for and then go ahead and open it. Tab groups in Safari has helped keep me really organized. I can break down my tabs between things like paying bills, things for work, things for personal stuff, uh, gaming or shopping, whatever you wanna break tabs down into. But a really helpful feature is that you can share these. Yeah, so if you go into Safari, go into your tab groups, you could create a whole new tab group for whatever it needs to be. Maybe it's a work school project or a work project that you're working on. Maybe it's a trip that you're planning with your friends or your other half. And then you can share those tabs with them. You can just go to that tab group, click on the little ellipsis, and then hit share. And a share sheet pops up and you can send all of those tabs as a little group right on their way. Very, very handy. And if you didn't know this, you can also create a tab group instantly just by selecting a bunch of tabs and then hitting create new tab group. If we could take a break for just one moment so that I can thank my sponsor for this video, Clean My Mac X by MacPaw. The Mac is a crucial tool for your work, your personal and your education life. And Clean My Mac X is an outstanding companion application to keep it running in tip-top shape. It helps tune the Mac to run at maximum speed and prevents a Mac from cluttering, lagging, and slowing down. You can free up tons of space so your Mac never runs into an issue with storage. In total, Clean My Mac has nearly 50 built-in tools to keep your Mac clean, fast, and protected, all in a simple-to-use, gorgeous interface. As a special thank you to the loyal Apple Insider audience, MacPaul is offering a 5% discount on the full license of Clean My Mac 10, but it's only valid for two weeks. So use the link down below in the description and unlock the entire Clean My Mac experience. Thank you again sincerely to MacPaul. It is with sponsors like you that videos like this are possible as well as my amazing audience. So thank you again to the sponsors and to everybody watching. With that said, let's get back to the topics. Using your iPhone's camera with your Mac is great, but what's even better than just the improved video quality is all the special features that come with it. Now, I usually use Belkin's little MagSafe adapter. It's small, it clips right on the top of your screen, it's brilliant. You can also use it just to set it on a table, or if you want to use something else, you can use a tripod. There's Joby tripods. I use the, the Peak Design travel tripod. It has a built-in iPhone holder on it if I'm on the go. Uh, but there's a lot of different options to use your iPhone as a camera for your Mac. But Apple also has a bunch of special effects built in. 
with that camera being used, you can enable portrait mode that gives that nice blurry bokeh going on in the background. You can use center stage that keeps you in focus. So as you shift and jab uh, while you're on camera, that camera's gonna follow along with you versus just being stuck staring at you dead on. And finally, you have stage lighting. This gives a much better, or studio lighting, gives you a much better look to you. It can increase your brightness while decreasing your background. It makes it look you kind of uh, like you're on stage and you're the center of the focus when you're on that video call. Aside from those special effects, there's also desk view. So you can demo something, you know, you wanna show somebody something off. Uh, you're showing off the new Apple Watches or some smart home switch that you are currently reviewing. Whatever it happens to be, you can demo it right there in front of you with that desk view. I think it's super cool. All these great new features in Ventura. Have you ever taken a photo, dropped it into Pixelmator or Photoshop and tried to remove the subject from that photo? Right, you're trying to pull yourself out. You're trying to pull a product out. You're trying to pull your kid out, a pet out, something like that from a photo. But you're trying to remove a subject or an object from a photo. Well, for most cases, MacOS Ventura can do this for you. Yeah, you just take any photo you want and you can just right click and copy the subject directly out of that photo. Paste it into another image processing file, into a notes, into a spreadsheet, into a document, into a message anything like that. It's ridiculously cool and brings this kind of like high level Photoshop feature to the masses without needing any external software. The preview app is great. It's useful for looking at PDFs and images without having to go into an actual dedicated word processor, a PDF creation tool, uh, or an image editor. It's very useful and I bet most of you use it more often than you even realize that you do. And another useful feature has always been to be able to edit a PDF. Like you can add text over top of it, you can add signatures, all of that stuff. But a lot of people use forms and you have to go through and manually add all the little boxes. Not in macOS Ventura. There's a new form filler out feature that will automatically help you fill out forms on a document automatically. If you fill out a lot of forms, this is gonna be a game changer. Final feature, final feature that I wanna call out, and that is new settings for AirPods. So if you go into system settings now, there will actually be a new settings panel for AirPods when they're connected. Previously, you couldn't do diddly with your AirPods. You had to do it all on your iPhone or iPad, where it would show up inside of the settings application. But no, not a macOS Ventura. There's a whole dedicated panel there. You can tinker with them, make adjustments to them, all of that from your Mac. Again, it's a small thing, but seriously, overdue and very welcomed. Let me know what you guys think. What is your favorite new feature in macOS Ventura? Is it any of the big ones or is it any of the small ones that I showed off here today? Let me know down below in the comments and otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.